guys have asked me and my sister how we speak English so fluently, and most of my teachers have, some teachers have also asked me how I uh, write and speak English so fluently. So I'm not only am I gonna tell you guys some tips, but I'm also gonna tell how I overcame my challenges yeah. and, I, and also uh, give you guys uh, make uh, give you guys a review about some of my storybooks I read that really do help me with my grammar. Yeah. Um, uh, so let's start with the review of the books. Then I will tell you some tips on how to improve English spelling, English spelling, grammar, and all that good stuff. So the book series is called The Road Doll, as you can see here. Road Doll is actually the name of the author of the book series. Uh, uh, there's about let me count one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven books right now here with me, but there's, uh, but there's a lot more books than that. Like uh, there's sixteen books total, and I got like uh, eleven yeah. books, I think. So yeah, these are actually really good literature books. If there's any literature students watching this, I would highly recommend reading some of these books. They are actually really entertaining, and uh, have actually good literature and. Uh, really good English grammar that would help any student at all. Uh, let's start with some of my favorite books of the series. Oh, this yes. one is, yeah. Me too. This one is called Road Doll the Witches. It's actually really deep in detail and it's all, it's about it's witches. It's so funny. Uh, it's not that funny. I mean, you haven't read the book. <laughs> uh, it's about witches and about a child and his grandmother just Grand working. Embarking on an adventure about witches, I think. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Me, me too. And the next one is Matilda. I don't. Me too. I think most of you have heard of this book. It's about. In the TV. Uh, yeah, I think they watched a movie. I guess this one is about a little girl, girl who has an extremely high intellectual capacity and her adventures throughout her life. I think. Yeah, that's the yep, yep. story. I'm not gonna give any spoilers no. though because. Oh. Mostly. This is yes, my most favorite one, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Pretty sure you guys I like have, it. Yeah, almost 99%. Yeah. Me too. I like it. What do you like about it? Um, I like the pictures and the photos and that stuff. Yeah, my sister really loves this. I'm pretty sure 99% of you guys have actually. 10 out of 10. Yeah have either watched the movie or read the book so yeah it's really popular and i've got some my other favorite book is the bfg the BF, bfg stands for big friendly giant big friendly giant uh it's about giants really and the little girl who finds the giants it's a really good book i would really recommend it for english readers now let's head in for some of the tips um, just hey gonna guys, go. I'm gonna go for a minute, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, she just, I think she's either shy or just wants to use the bathroom. So, uh, with my personal experience, most of the time, some of these, like, really good literature English books are translated into English so people can read them easier. Um, I'm not really just uh, disrespecting you that the that genre but i'm real what i'm really uh telling is if you guys are i came <laughs> if you guys really want to improve your english skills pronunciation spelling that kind of stuff yeah. uh especially books like road doll and harry potter i would really recommend actually reading the english version of the book so if you if there's anything you can't understand i like this book uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. Uh, I would really recommend actually using the English book. If there's anything you don't understand, either mm -hmm. search it up on a dictionary or even internet, the best source. Uh, yeah, uh, I've seen this a lot. This looks a lot beautiful. The pictures. I love the... Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of people reading popular books like Harry Potter and whatnot in, in a single translation. I'm not saying I disrespect those guys, that kind of people, that kind of genre of books, but I 
think if you use the English version instead, you will not only improve your English skills, but also your uh, yeah, yeah literature sk skills. Uh, out of the road doll series, I actually got like for my fifth grade birthday, I actually got a Singhala book. Yep. I mean, it's not bad. It's the same story, but in Singhala. Um, it's kind of old, as you can see. It has like it's bored. Yeah, it's folded and stuff. Uh, I'm not disrespecting that kind of genre. It's just uh, if you use the English, if you read the English version, you will mm, like improve your skills much more. This is a kind and, of funny, but not bad. And if you're watching a uh, single translation of nope. translations of movies, English movies or cartoons, I would much rather uh, prefer the English version because yep. it actually has the literature and stuff. So what I'm telling, I'm not, again, I'm not disrespecting the single translations. I'm just saying if you guys want to improve your skills, uh, either watch the English, original English versions of the movies and TV shows, or just read the original English versions of the books, of books, yeah. like Harry Potter and Road Dog. I've actually seen a new single translated version of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and I, I'm not lying. We I haven't got into a flip today. Yeah, uh, I gotta say I was kind of disappointed because why? I just saw that. As, I just saw that as weird, something weird, really. Uh, so what I'm actually saying is, just try the English versions of these books. Yeah. It will actually help you it's change cool. your lives. So what do you have to say? I like the Red Dog book, the English one, but the single one is not funny. And this all of these books, my favorite ones, this and this and this. Yeah, this e books. even though she I can't think. read, she just loves the illustrations of these books. That's why she's just speaking out. So <laughs> anyways, uh, just keep those tips in your mind if you ever need them. So anyways... What's uh, Charlie do? And me. Yeah, uh, we'll come back with a video later on. Yep. So bye. Bye.